All right, folks. Hello and welcome back to Downstage Gaming. I am your host, Josh, and this is part 12 of our Let's Play of Return of the Obra Dinn. When we last left off, we had finished our last couple of scenes, uh, and then we started making our way, trying to figure out some of the easier deductions that we haven't made yet. Uh, we got into the uh, the cot situation <laughs> and tried to really get get all the information we know about that one scene where we can take a look at those cots. There might be another scene to you later where we can look at that stuff too. Uh, but for now, the next thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to come to this point. I don't think we're going to quite be able to figure out who this is just yet since we're, it's a three triangle. But I do want to confirm how it is this person dies. So this is part seven of Soldiers of Sea. It's on the floor we're at. We just need to go around that way. All right, so let's head around here. We may need to look at uh, the one that happens before this one in order to really get this. Because this is the one that I believe... He, he gets spiked initially. But I believe the thing that actually kills him is that he gets shot, or at least that's what I thought at the time. But I don't know if that's actually true anymore. Well, maybe. There's that person doing the shooting there. And yeah, the way that that... The way that that wound comes out there, it sure does look like a gunshot wound. Can you see the, the bullet? Doesn't really look like it. Let's look at the... They make for Lazarette, secure the hold. Somebody shoot the damn thing. Yeah. I think that he gets spiked, but he comes crawling over here. He's not dead yet. He's trying to hide away, and then I think he gets shot. And he gets shot by that person. I believe that is correct. So, let's get that down. We believe that he is shot by a gun. Okay. All right. There's no way for us to come out of this in this one. And I, okay, yeah, I, I am curious to kind of know who that person is that shot him, but I don't think we know the name of that person yet. Wouldn't, wouldn't really matter yet at this point. So let's let's wait on that one for a little bit. So then, next bit we want to get to is this one right here. This is our next one triangle person who we presumably should be able to figure out here all right so this is part one of the doom and this is when this guy gets struck for trying to get on the boat my dead body for my dead body you bloody dane i missed this before yeah how's that there's no cause for trouble boys get in the boat thought i'd forget you killed my brother what? That was an accident. The ropes. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. Lies. I shouldn't wait so long. No doubt. Okay. Alright, there's a, there's already things just from that that I can probably pick up on a couple of things there. But let's let's get to the actual moment there. So that's on the main deck. Uh, so let's head up. We're going around for now and just trying to get the ones that still have one triangle... Uh, or one arrow deductions. Yeah, last time when we, we finished last scene, it did start a uh, storm in here. So we were told to finish our business here. All right. I, is it you? Yes. Okay. Okay. Let me on. Over my dead body, you bloody day. How is that? There's no cause for trouble, boys. Get in the boat. Or I forget. You killed my brother. What? That was an accident. No probes. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. Nice. Right. Oh, I should have waited so long. No, don't. Okay. All right. So first things first. He says, "Over my dead body, you bloody Dane." So let's go to our crew manifest here. Is anybody? Danish? Let's see. That would mean you're from Denmark, right? <laughs> if you're Danish? <laughs> um, pretty sure. Which would... Okay. If that's true, it means he's a seaman. Where's Linda? Linda. 
Yeah, okay. So let's look at um let's look at where he is on our picture here. Hmm. It's certainly possible that he's a seaman. We could also take a look at previous stuff, but I, I mean, the main thing is that if, if he's... And, and we could be pretty sure that he's talking about the guy he's murdering, right? When he says Dane. Let's take a look at that real quick. Part one. Yes, let me on over my dead body, you bloody Dane. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think I think that is enough for us to say then that this is Lars Linda. Okay. So then, now the thing we want to try to figure out based on this one is the brother situation here. There's no cause for child boys getting the boat. Thought I'd forget you killed my brother. What? That was an accident. The ropes. Wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. Well, I shouldn't have waited so long. No, don't. Okay. So he believes that he killed his brother. Now, if we look at his thing here, I think it wouldn't be unreasonable to say that his brother is somebody close by. And if we're looking at stuff like this, like if we go to this guy who's been crushed by the cargo, this might be how we figure this out, actually, if he's the brother. The question there, though, is then, because I think I looked at this before and I didn't see anybody that had the same last name, although I don't think I looked that carefully, honestly. So let's take a look. It's They're going to be like semen or something. Um, Peter, Shirley, Hagen, Booth, Brennan, Dean, Cian, Wasm, Bar, Rajub, Naples, Lynn, Peters. Okay, Nathan Peters and Samuel Peters. That's certainly possible, both from England. Okay. So it could be them. I'm trying to see if there's any other brothers in... Like, probably top men or below. I don't think so. Let's... Let's play one of our games real quick. <laughs> let's, pl let's play one of our see if this just works game here. Um, like, okay. Okay, okay. So let's, let's, okay. <laughs> let's get out of here. Let's go back to our page. If we're right... And if we have other ones right too, which again, I'm not exactly sure where we're at in terms of that, because we could have things that are wrong. Um, but if we were to say that you were attacked by, let's say Samuel Peters. Okay, don't get anything there. What if we said that instead it was Nathan Peters? Ha ha ha! All right. All right, this is good. We can find out who we got, and then we can get his other brother too. Okay, so we got Nicholas Botterill. We got Lars Linda, who we, who we just got here. Good, good, good. And we got John Naples, who's killed by Sir. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Um, what I want to do now, then, real quick, is from the beginning. Let's let's just get all the way here. I want to go through and see anybody we have a full thing of. If if we're wrong about any okay got him got him that's good we've got him we've got him we don't know who this person is yet don't know that one don't have enough on that one don't have enough on that one we should come back to this too to see how they died i've forgotten about that one okay we got that we've got that we've got that um, good to know that this isn't right. I was also thinking about this after last time. We, we, I mean, we need to come back to this scene to take a look at these two anyways. But it's good to know that this is not right. Okay. Um, we don't have that. We do have that. We don't have enough. 
just got this one, I believe. John Naples was killed with a sword by Philip Dahl. Captain Stone. Okay, I'm glad we were right about this one. I was worried about what exactly had happened here. Uh, it's good that we got that one right, though. Okay. Don't have enough on that. Just got that. Okay. Good. Nothing on these two yet. That's good. Don't know that one. Don't know that one. That's good. And then we're into Doom. Okay, okay, okay. So, so far, the only two, the, the only one that we have something down for that isn't right is the the two that escaped on the rafts, or or, we, or presumably they escaped. Might, might be something else happened to them. Um, so we'll have to come take a, back, uh, take a look at that one again. For now, we've got that. And with this, because we know that this is Nathan Peters... We should be able to say, again, I'm, I'm making a bit of a jump here, but because, where's even the, where, where, where am I, <laughs> where's my guy here? I want to look at you. Because we're saying that this, I mean, we can say that this is Nathan Peters. Where are you hiding, Nathan? There you are. Okay. And we don't know what happened to him, huh? Is he one of the people who... I guess it makes sense. He's on the boat. Hello. Yeah. Uh, so he's he's one of the people that are going to get away, I guess. Okay. Um, so we'll come back to that in a second. I think that this makes some sense. We should come back to this first scene to really confirm this. But if we see... If we see that this guy, Lars Lind, is one of the people who uh, drops the thing, or is one of the people who's obviously dropping the thing, then I think we can pretty accurately say that this person is Samuel Peters. So let's mark him right now. Let's mark him for the moment. Let's get out of here. And let's head back to that first memory then. As long as we see Lars Lind there dropping the thing, then I can feel pretty confident about this. Alright, so this first memory is right in the middle there at the bottom. Okay. So we're going to head all the way back down. I, f I feel like we're always going between the top and the bottom here. Okay, all the way down. You kind of freak me out being there. Okay. Then we want to go to right about the middle here. And it is you that we want. Because actually, it's not it's not part one that we want, is it? It's part two. Well, it doesn't really matter. It is part one we want anyway. So, all right, let's take a look at this. Okay. Are you Lars? You are. Alright. I think I think that this is fair to say that. I think that this is what happened. We should be able to find out shortly if we get a couple more correct too. But this this is seeming pretty accurate to me, especially with Lars right there. That's right about where it was, and he's saying, oh, but it was the rope, and he's probably right. Okay, all right, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Pretty, pretty good. All right, so now, let us head back into the Doom. Chapter eight, seven, seven. <laughs> okay, so we've got this one down. This person's at three. We've seen a lot of him, though, I feel like. How many memories are you in? Yeah, 12. Okay. We've got Christoph Wolf. Wolf. Was a gunner. Was blasted with a cannon by an unknown attacker. I don't remember when we figured out that this was, uh, Wolf. Huh. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember that at all, but all right. This is the fuse. Okay. And we still have never found this other person. Or what happens to them. 
We should really probably try to figure this out, but I'm so lost about this bit. All right, let's, let's go from, hmm. actually we should maybe even be able to get this. All right, let's, let's start here. Let's start by going to part four and let's see what we can find. So part four of the doom is on the second deck. It's in that spot right by the cannon there. Yeah, I remember, okay. So we'll head up two floors here. One, two, and then we want, I think it is you right there. Nope, other way, over here. It is you? Actually might be, no, I think it is you. This is part four. Yes, okay. All right. So the bad part about this is that, yeah, it's not enough to just say that this was like an accident, right? It's him that's saying the fuse. Well, actually, we don't know that it's him. We know it's one of these two. Cause like if I go by unknown attacker, yeah, we can't we can't actually say anything here about like hey it was just an accident. I mean, someone did it. So we're gonna have to take a look. I think at part three to maybe get a better idea. There's a good chance that it was. I mean it it okay now hold on. It was probably you, right? Because you're the one with the... With the lighter here, which is the thing that's actually going to activate the cannon. Do we know who you are? We don't. This is the person who was clubbed by the captain. Okay. Hmm. All right, so then the second question is where is this person? Friend here with a sort of loose, big, big, big neck bit. I don't know how else to describe that. We've got top hat friend here who shot by the cannon. I believe, based on what we talked about before with this one, I think that this is something where something's going on above deck still. And we just can't see it from here, but it happens at the same time. It's not you. It's definitely not you. Can we see anything outside from like one of these windows to see? Oh, is it you? No. Like, that's the only other thing I can think of, is, like, if there's an angle that I can see outside that I just have never quite gotten. Can't quite get past that. Can't look there. And, yeah, we can't get anything past there. All right. So, let us... Let's go to the part before this. And let's see if we can find... Big neck guy. <laughs> As he is now known. Um, so, we want to go to part three. Which is just right here. Okay. That... I think this is you. Is this not our big neck guy? I think it is. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we have that. We have this going on here. We see that he's the one that's about to light it. Yes. So we can be pretty sure that he's the one that's about to shoot the cannon that goes up here. How does Top Hat Guy get over here, though? 
Well, now wait. Actually, you're the one that's about to light it, it looks like. Do we know who you are? We don't. Okay. So actually, it might be you that might be the person that's about to do it. I think our friend here is just going to get, like, eaten by the beast. Or something. Because he's, he's being grabbed here. That's our top hat guy. So maybe they're both being shot by the cannon. I think that's fair. Can you just not see him? Or is he that he gets brought out the window? I feel like, but then we wouldn't know what happens to him, right? Yeah, I think both these guys are about to get shot by the cannon that's lit by this guy who gets crushed by the cannon. So if we can learn who this guy is, we might be able to get those other ones. Yeah, and you're going to be in quite a bit, aren't you? I'm, I'm, I think I'm, I'm tempted to just go down this because we'd be able to figure out quite a bit if what I'm saying is true if we discover who this guy is. Hmm. He's in a bit of cold part one, two, and three. Might be able to figure out a good bit for that. I definitely have seen him a lot. I know that. Open coat guy. All right. So here's what I'm willing to say for now, for this moment. I think I'm willing to say that you also got shot by a cannon. we go forward here is there gonna be any other one arrow people I don't think so a couple of two this guy too we got this guy who's a one but we know who he is we just don't know who his attacker is yet a three a two a two a three a three 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 two yeah Got him, got him, three, got him, okay. So yeah, okay. I think, I think right now, a good person to try to figure out who it is then is open shirt guy here. Open shirt with a beard. Again, we've seen him a lot. So let us go ahead and bookmark his memories. And let's start with the bitter colds. Because I'm pretty sure that's... The first bit that he's in anyways. I guess let's check it. He's in a good bit of Unholy Captives too. Yeah, so... Alright, so let's start with our old classic of uh, Bitter Cold Part 1. He might be one of our caught people. The fact that he's here below deck in this business would suggest that he's a seaman. Which, if we, if we look at, like, Christian Wolf, he's a gunner. That makes sense. Why, why do I think that he's Christian Wolf, though? I must have something from something else. I'm, I'm not going to question that right now, especially since he's a one arrow. I'm going to assume that I'm correct on that. Uh, but what I want to see is... Do I know anything about you? No. But again... Yeah, and he also has kind of that loose shirt thing going on in his picture. Yeah, I think that most of the guys down here are semen. Yeah, I, yeah, and I don't think he's Charles Minor. I don't remember what... There's something about a, a Frenchman... Should try to find what that scene is again. Well, whatever. All right, let's let's keep track of one thing at a time. It's, it's easy to get overwhelmed here. So let's let's leave here. We're gonna go to a bitter cold part one. Got to try to figure out how loose shirt beard guy, who he is. All right. So now we want to head to stairs. I think right over here. 
Yes. Starting to remember these pretty well now. Make sure though. Yes. Okay. All right. So if I remember correctly, is he the guy that's like walking? No, no, he's not. All right. We got poker players here. None of who is our guy. That's him. Okay. He's the one who has the X. Okay, so interesting, interesting, interesting. Huh. He's hanging out here with this guy who we don't know. And our sick friend here. Who is Solomon Syed, also a seaman. Okay. So if I look at our uh, manifest here, is there any kind of like special <laughs> semen? Um, no, no, not really. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 I'm just trying to think, too, just based on, like, country. I don't know. He comes across to me. I don't know. He could be anything, ethnicity-wise, from this. Um, okay. So let's... Let's leave this scene for the moment, and let's see what he's doing in part two of A Bitter Cold. So we do have a list of people here that he can't be, based on my people that are sleeping in the cot, and any of those that are uh, that are semen, assuming that he is one, which again I am. I, I think that's I think that's pretty fair to assume. All right, so our next person here, I believe, is you. Yes. Okay. This is the bit with the Frenchman, isn't it? No, it's not. It might be the one after this. I me, mean, I can just check that. Take them to the carpenter, and wrap the seat or here, one swing, up through skull and stair brain. Uh, never been on a farm, Charlie. No, that's the other Charlie. We know that one. Um, so it must not be this one then. Okay. Um, it's that one where he's like yelling out, right? Whatever. All right, we'll come back to that. Um. Spread, uh, lost house. yeah, okay, all right. Nothing in the dialogue then that's important. Here he is again. He's with the first body. Hmm. And as, are you that same guy? You are. So these three are buddies. For sure. So if we go back to Solomon Syed, where is where is Syed from? Uh, on our on our roster here. Solomon Syed is from India. I think it's pretty fair to say that these two then are also from India. So let's <laughs> let's play our game. <laughs> let's let's play our old game. Let's say for a second that you are William Wasim. Let's just pretend for a second. And let's say that you are Abraham Akbar. No. Okay. Let's switch it. <laughs> You're William Wasim. And you are 
Abraham Akbar. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, we are nailing it. Oh, I'm proud of myself. I really am. <laughs> All right. Wait, I wasn't paying attention to. Was that was the? We must have gotten right that one for the first chapter. Too. I was, I was, I was, I was too busy gloating to pay attention. I know those two must be right. Um. Okay. So, 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 so. Okay. There's, there's, there's a lot to consider right now. Okay. So he is Abraham Akbar, crushed by loose cannon. We can right now then say that I think. <laughs> say that both of these guys were blasted with cannon by Abraham Akbar. Where are you hiding on me, Abraham? There you are, 52. I think we can say that. Okay. Now, we got him. Um... Did we also, if I just get out of here, if I look at, where are you, my friend? There you are. If I look at you, okay, we did. We got him as well, okay. Then, we want to head all the way back to the beginning and see, did I get that one from the first chapter right? Because that's pretty important if we got it wrong. We got it right. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, we are, we are getting places right now. Okay. I think we're going to leave it there for now. I think when next we return, though, I think we should start trying to figure out people, like, since I'm at the point where I've got most of, like, the ones that are considered easy, I think we should start kind of trying to figure it out chronologically. Like, if, if I really get lost with, like, this guy, we can just move on. But, like, you know, all of his memories are from, yeah, from, like, the first two. So there's a decent chance we can figure out who who this is here. Based on that. And then I really, yeah, I really want to get back to the wrath bet. I want to get this of how he died at the very least. And we can try to figure out who some of these people we don't know are. We have most of them. And figure out what happened to these two. I'm very curious about this. Because we know that this is wrong now. I'm still pretty sure that this is Patrick O'Hagan. Um, but we can come back to that as well. All right. For now then, folks, we made some excellent progress today. Once again, I'm very proud. Thank you for joining me. Until next time then, folks, this has been Downstage Gaming. I've been your host, Josh. And I will catch you all next time.